The left is pissing all over the Constitution and destroying your freedom. Happy New Year. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Bottom Line for Sunday, December 31st, the last day of the year. And of course, we just completed the last week of trading for this year and finished up with the monster rally for the year. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll get that in our market report. But uh, as we opened up with, uh, the left is pissing all over the Constitution with every move they make. And of course, this goes into uh, the Another state trying to take President Trump's name off the ballot, not giving you, an American, as your right, the freedom to choose who you'd like to vote for. They are dictating who you're going to get to vote for in the next election. And I think that we are finding this to be uh, a, a big destruction of your freedom, a, a big destruction of the United States of America, the, the busting of the Constitution. Of course, we've already witnessed the destruction of history, and we've already witnessed that President Biden is trying to turn the United States of America into a communism, like the, the communist country of America, or again, socialism, or anything else but what we really should have here, which is free markets and capitalism. This has been going on for years, and that is not just Biden's fault. Okay, this has been going on throughout the system as we have let the Federal Reserve get so much power, uh, and of course, the ability to manipulate money, uh, which oversupplies the money supply, which creates a lot of this artificial crap that we're watching, but it's really just another way to tax Americans and destroy freedom and to destroy your bank account. So again, you can continue to look at it all you want, but we are, are, we are now witnessing probably the biggest lie from the Biden regime, okay, as we hear them continuing to talk about the southern border not being a problem, which we know it's a problem. Uh, and unfortunately, we have many involved in this. And I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm sure you can guess who, what non-government organizations are involved in pumping up this country with illegals that don't belong here only in order to buy votes for a later date and almost stockpiling votes as we go through. Uh, the border should be shut. There should be a wall. Uh, we should be, we should not be allowing people to come in this country illegally, let alone at record numbers. Okay. That we are watching and it is, uh, a, a major, major battle. Okay. It is where they're calling it the great replacement ther uh, theory. Okay, which is again the 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 population of illegals is starting to rival the population of people that belong here, and I think if we continue to allow this to happen, it will a destroy this country, it will destroy you, it will destroy me, and we will no longer have the freedom that we are supposed to have as we allow this to continue to be a part of it. I mean, we're, we're, we're now seeing a massive amount of your tax dollars and mine going to fund these illegals that are coming into this country. Okay. You've got mayors of, of, of these idiot uh, cities, Chicago, New York. Okay. That are begging for more financial help to fund their illegal immigration scandals and schemes to continue to buy votes for themselves. Now, show me where is that in the Constitution? Okay, that's what I'd like to know. Show me where we are supposed to be allowing any illegals. Okay, this is not a pretty picture right now. And we are being lied to. Our president is a liar. Okay, he's a racist. He's a thief. And again, you can say whatever you want. The, I am not speaking anything but the facts that is already there in writing for you. Okay. So you want to talk about constitutional constitutional issues, pretty soon we won't have a constitution anymore, okay? And let, let's say how you like that. And this is one of the problems when nobody cares until it's too late, but we'll get to that in our commentary. In the meantime, 
among other things happening, okay, now in California, stores have to require gender neutral toys. Now, again, I don't care what you do in your own home. I don't care what you do with your life, okay? But you are not going to push nor educate nor make my child see or convinced to be something that they are not, okay? And I believe that this is becoming an epidemic here as we continue to watch this horseshit, okay, with this this, uh, this pushing the gender neutrality on everybody, okay? Uh, I think that, you know, these the having a five-year-old knowing that they're gender neutral at five years old is ridiculous, okay? And of course, isn't it wonderful? Russia and China are on a roll. They continue to build their relationship and continue to do things that are all anti-American. Okay. But let's keep sitting here and telling me how this is the greatest country in the world. Okay. As we watch it destroyed piece by piece. Okay. And allowing our enemies to get so powerful that we won't even be able to stop it, okay? I mean, you've got China continuing with their usual, uh, destroying their own people, okay? Because what do they care? They are the worst for human rights, and their housing slump continues. Uh, you know, I think that uh, you've got a a real problem in the in the energy in a sector industry. And of course we have gone into massive amounts of, of redrilling our own oil, which is a good thing. Okay. And we can see that oil prices are coming down. Uh, but we do see that there's our shortage being created, even though there's plenty of supply. Uh, I think when you look at some of the things that are going on, I think that a, the markets may have been just a little bit too bullish coming into the year, and we'll get more of that in our, our market report, but it is something to remember and consider. Uh, but I think you have to look at, and, and some of the good things that are happening, the potential breaking of the teachers union in Florida. Okay, thank you, Governor DeSantis. Now again, obviously he's taking a lot of heat, and I've been one who give, who's been giving him heat because I'm not, I'm not as impressed as I wanted to be <clears throat> when he was going to be the potential candidate for 2024, but he has done some very good things in busting up unions, the teachers union, which is one of the biggest unions of craps, thieves, and, and, and bullshit that we can ever possibly want to see because, of course, teachers, unions, and tenure need to be eliminated, but they, they are in the process of potentially busting it up because of the, you no longer have to pay dues unless a majority want to. It's not automatic. There's a lot of good things happening from the, from that part of the world. And, and, and so, uh, hopefully we will bust up all the unions. And again, I'm not, a, I'm not anti-union. I am anti-criminal. I am anti-criminal activity, which has been running these unions for the last 50 years. Again, I will put this on record once again. Unions, when they were first developed, were unbelievably and perfect timing. But they turned out to be nothing later more than big businesses because most union dues go to political campaigns, okay, to keep people in power and keep people elected. And again, I, I think that it's about time we figured out that dealing with the lobbyists and all the other bullshit that goes on that we pay all this money for is really never in our best interest, okay? And I, and I think that we are creating a mass amount of instability in this country, which I think is also being perpetrated by President Biden and crew. And again, I know Biden is so dumb and so far lost. It's probably not really him, but the entire staff at every, at every level is nothing but a bunch of liars, cheats, thieves that are trying to destroy our country, the United States of America. This is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Todd Bubba Horowitz. It is Sunday. December the 31st, the last day of the year, and Happy New Year to all. And let us step out of here for our break and come back with uh, more on our market report. But first, out to a break. That was the bottom line. So what up, kids? I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you had a great holiday. I hope you're getting ready for a big 2024. 
Uh, and of course, as you know, we've got some sponsors to talk about and uh, we've got our brokerage partners. And again, I have many other brokers, but again, these are the two that I recognize that I think are the best for you as a customer and as a, as a, as a client. Uh, I think that, you know, you'll find that you will get the best rates, the best service from the brokers that I recommend. And I have vetted them and I use them myself. And of course, Capital Trading Group is one, which does uh, all of our letter of direction trading. Uh, they are our, commod our commodities and futures broker, which again, if you're going to trade commodities and you're going to trade equities, I believe you should have separate brokers for each because you don't want a facilitator, you want a broker that specializes in what you're trying to do. In the meantime, Capital Trading Group is great. They're partners with us on Day Traders Dream and some other things. Listen, don't take my word for them. Check it out for yourself. Info.CapitalTradingGroup.com forward slash Bubba. And of course, Trade Your Brokerage, which is our equity broker. And I'm, first of all, they're $10 a month. That's number one. Number two, they got great service. Number three, our software is written to their API. And you don't pay more to them for brokerage fees. And in our equity program, the software comes with it. And in the uh, hedging program, you have to license the software, but it's a, a fee that you will, believe me, trade your broker saves me over $100,000 a year in, com in commission. Okay, more than enough to pay for my, my software that I use. But in the meantime, check them out, try.tradier.com forward slash Bubba. And, and they're both scrolling on the side if, you, if I speak too fast, which is not unusual. Uh, and our new sponsor, which is Wall Charts. Um, of course, I'll be doing a webinar for them in, in January. Uh, but they've got some great software as well, some great uh, that is also tied to Tradier. Okay, but you can check them out. We'll get you the information for that soon. And of course, our high school program, which the high school program was back in business and ready to go. And in fact, uh, uh, we look to be doing some things starting in Florida. So in the meantime, you can check them all out, either in the sides or on the bottom. And let us get back to Bubba's Bottom Line and our market report here on Sunday, December the 31st. Welcome back. It is Sunday. It is December 31st. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. Last day of the year. Friday was the last day of the trading year. And of course, the markets were a little bit lower on Friday, but they had a pretty relatively good comeback even on Friday. But I think if you look at the last quarter, monster numbers, okay, 25% rallies. I mean, stocks going to Pluto, almost like we're, the, we're, we're in the 90s again, okay, a monster rally. And, and I don't understand, again, from a fundamental standpoint, which I'm not a fundamentalist, the economy is in trouble. I can I still say that we're in a recession, but I, I think there's a lot of issues that we continue to ignore. And not the, which one of the bigger stories which we opened up, which was the illegal immigration, which is costing Americans all more money. Uh, the amount of debt that is in this country, uh, the amount of uh, interest rates we're paying for usury rates for those credit cards that you hold. It don't look good. OK, but again, I, I'm not listen, I'm not we're not predicting what the markets do next. In fact, as you know, we are long. Across the board, uh, again, I don't predict to you what markets are going to do. Okay, I just tell you what's going on, and I tell you, I give you the, you know some of the the information. But again, there's a lot of trouble, and I think, and for out of any circumstances, I believe the markets are extremely overbought, and we have seen a much too big rally. Now, that doesn't mean you run out and get short Tuesday. Okay, all it means is that it's something to be aware of. Again, remember, we want to be aware of our surroundings before we make a decision. And certainly, I would never tell you to get short this market right now. Even if I was right, I would never tell you because it's silly. We need proof that the markets are going to turn around. I'm just saying that there's a lot of evidence that we could be very close, okay? In the meantime, we are still long. All four major indices, and of course, had a nice year. Uh, all portfolio models finished up on the year for us. So that was a good, good, good deal. Uh, and of course, in the uh, the dollar, which we no longer trade, okay, but the dollar continues to be weak. Uh, we would be continue to be short, but we no longer trade it. The euro currency continues to be strong, and we are still long. As much as I hate it, and as much as I think it's going way down at some point, it's still going higher, and we're still long. Uh, Bitcoin again, trying to make a move now. Again, it's been choppy back and forth after it's around that forty thousand level. Uh, we are still short, but again, it is something to to look at. And I, as you know, I am a believer of crypto and Bitcoin. Uh, and I, there's some news coming out, which might be the final push up before it starts to see some selling uh, with the new ETFs and what they're trying to do here. 
Uh, bonds and notes continue to, you know, be sideways to higher, which still indicates that the markets are going to see uh, rate cuts. And and again, I don't know how a how they're going to do it. B, I think they've overpriced in the value of what the rate cuts are going to be. But again, we're not going to tell you to time the market. The bonds and notes right now are going higher, which means interest rates are going lower. It's a simple concept. Okay, At the end of the day, I, I think that it's a mistake. But again, the markets are never really wrong, so it's not really a mistake there. We just have to watch and be patient because I think that we're being, I think there's too much being priced in of, of potential good news, which really is not good news. Uh, in the metals, we are still long gold and silver, and they look pretty good. I mean, it had some rough periods at the end of the week, but still look pretty solid. Uh, we are long gold and silver. We would be long platinum if we were if we traded it still, but we don't. Uh, natural gas, we did finally reverse to long after having a very good run to the short side uh, on Friday. Uh, we're now long natural gas. Uh, we are still we are now long crude oil, of course. And of course, crude continues to go, um, you know, continues to be, it was, was sliding as not kind of sideways. Okay. But it has gone out to, to, to show us that the trend has turned around. Uh, copper, we're still long and it's still, you know, it's been tough to trade, but it's still hovering near close to that four bucks. Um, in the, in the grain markets, we're still short corn. We're still short beans. We're still long wheat. Again, I, the end of the year was really very nothing to really look at in the grain markets. Uh, in fact, I would have chosen not even to trade them. Uh, I think we'll see what it looks like this year, but I do think that this will be a good year for the grain markets. Uh, and of course, in the cattle, which I think will have a rough year, cattle is up higher still, but I think it's going much lower. I think we want to be short that. Uh, we no longer trade it. And we would be shorted, but it, it, it's I'd be shorted for a lot of reasons, uh, and I am. Okay, And the hogs, uh, I would be long. I think hogs are up for a a big run to the upside. And of course, as we look at the uh, at the, uh, the softs, uh, cocoa, we're still long. And of course, it's had a huge rally. Uh, cotton has turned around. We're still short, but I, as, as I told many, like to cover at 79 and it's now 81. So uh, I think that you're going to see probably a, a reversal there pretty quickly here. Sugar continues to get hammered. And of course, we're still short sugar. So that's a good thing. Um, uh, OJ gets hammered and again is down over a dollar from its highs. We're still short there and coffee is up near its highs still you know, as, as it's working and we are still long coffee. So again, overall, uh, we'll see what the year brings. I wouldn't necessarily get crazy right out of the box. Okay. You know, t Tuesday, I'm not telling you to go fire up and start trading actively right away. We want to see some business. And again, if I were going to guess, I'd like to see a huge rally. Which, which will be a blow off, I hope, which I'd like to sell into as a trade, not because I think we're going to turn over, but I do think there will be some retracement to the mean, but we'll see. In the meantime, this is Bubba, Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, December 31st. We're going to step out here for a break and we'll be back with our commentary and our football right after the break. Well, kids, again, I'm not going to go through the whole speech with uh, all the sponsors, but again, it's Trade Your Brokerage, Capital Trading Group, Well Charts. Scrolling on the sides, okay, and of course our high school program on the bottom. Look, these are things I vet for you. I use them myself. I would never recommend something that I don't use myself, okay? So I want you to check them out. And again, the information is on the side or on the bottom. In the meantime, let's get back to Bubba's Bottom Line with me, Todd Bubba Horowitz, and of course my commentary and football picks. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, December 31st, and of course, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, in the meantime, as you know, every week I like to give a little commentary and, you know, I, I, I'm so sick and tired of watching this administration piss all over the Constitution, but I'm more sick and tired of people that continue to defend blindly the United States of America saying that it's the greatest country in the world. And again, I'm not going to say it's not the greatest country in the world, but it is not anywhere near what it should be, what it could be, or what it was. And, and I think that unfortunately too many ignore problems until it directly affects them and don't realize that by the time that they realize it, it's too late. And from the, the allowing the Colorado and, and Maine to take Trump off the ballot again, forget about whether you like Trump or not. We're talking about freedom right now. We're talking about your future, your children's future, your grandchildren's future. And if we're going to allow politicians 
to take off somebody's name off of a ballot. It were already restricted as an, as it is to get somebody to vote for somebody. You only get two choices, basically. You get a Republican or a Democrat, which are both bullshit. Okay. You don't get a choice of a middle party, basically, because they don't, they've got, it's the old story. There's Coke and there's Pepsi and there ain't no RC Cola. So if you want to continue to let this government steal your freedom, you're going to be back in slavery. You're going to be a serf. Okay. We're going to be back in communism. We're not going to be the free America. If you continue to not be willing to step up and criticize and do something about it, which is our right, then you're going to continue to watch your freedom disappear along with your paycheck that will go to pay taxes because you didn't want to stop and say something or do something or vote for something. Again, that's up to you. I'll be dead by the time all this stuff comes down, but this is not good for your children or your grandchildren. This is going to, going to get a lot uglier if we don't stop, stand up now while we have the chance because this next election coming up is huge. And again, whether you're a fan of Trump or not, again, it's not the person. It is the ability that they can take a name off the ballot. Okay. That is, and decide who you get to vote for. Think about that next time. In the meantime, this is Bob's Bottom Line. And of course, we have some football for the week. And this is really it. This is a lot, basically until the playoffs. But uh, we actually like four games this week. We like the Baltimore Ravens against the Dolphins. We like the Bears against the Falcons. We like the uh, Broncos with Russell Wilson being benched against the Chargers and the Green Bay Packers against the Vikings. In the meantime, everybody, it's been a pleasure to serve you in the year of 2023 and years before. Uh, I hope 2024 is better from a uh, a constitutional standpoint and a freedom standpoint, because I'm tired of watching our money and our freedom being stolen from us. But to all of you, may it be a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. I thank you and look forward to, to seeing you again every every day next year, okay, as we say goodbye and happy new year to all. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye's bottom line.